in our last episode, we went to the fun little coffee town of Bo Boquete. Boquete? Yeah, close enough. And went to the tallest point in Panama on a crazy four-wheel drive adventure. If you missed that, you're going to want to back up and watch that one because it was crazy. But we just turned off the main road. And so far in Panama, all of the roads have been really good. But we've only been on the main roads. This is our first side road. And it is filled with potholes. So, but we're heading somewhere cool, we hope. We will see when we get there. And I'm just happy that Kurt's happened to drive on this road and miss all the potholes. Alright, this is where we're supposed to be turning to go to our next adventure. But we have a problem. There's a big locked gate. And a big sign that says no entry. After some investigating on Google Maps and the Vandersons going up the road 500 meters to check another option, we have turned around and we're going for option three. Hopefully, we can get there. What do you think, Kurt? I don't know. The Vandersons just went up the way and the road another way around was closed as well. So we'll have to see, not sure exactly. There's a couple more potential paths up this way we'll try out, but. There we go. Hey, looking good. All right, so we left. think that we have found the right road. We're gonna give it a whirl. Bozos Terminales. Yep. Continue for two kilometers. Right where the sign was. <laughs> two kilometers down this gravel road. And we should find some hot springs. When we were younger, we used to sit on the grass. Among the flowers, we just let the days pass by. People would tell us to get a grip of ourselves and get a job. We didn't care what we were told, cause when we were younger, we used to sit on the grass and go, damn, I don't want to grow old. I wish I could turn back time. Mm -mm -mm. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It was impossible to make us embarrassed. We were free. I'm gonna come up and take a look at it. All right, so we were headed out through here and we came up on this bridge that looks kind of sketch. Decided we better go up here, check it out, and take a look. So I think this is the Coldwater River right here. Loving the stability of this bridge. Look right here. This weld is broken. Are you thinking you fall through? I don't know if I want to catch my toes on it. Maybe it's either you go first. <laughs> And this is the more sketch one? Oh no, hell no. So, go this way maybe? Or just abort? Yeah, this is the road to the left up the hill and that is definitely too sketch. I think even if we can make it across the bridge, there's just no way. Holy cow. That's like the road we were on yesterday. Yeah, I guess he does do turns that way. <laughs> four by four path, we can't make that. To the right is like the more established resort, Hot Springs. So nice road to the right. The only issue is this bridge. To me, it's a suspension bridge. It's definitely worn, but the cables are solid. The beams down look pretty solid. 
It looks okay to me, but you're probably going to want to take a look at it because I don't want to freak you out. And the so Vandersons we're gonna, going? The Vandersons are going to go. They want us to go first. Danny wants the drone. Why Which, do we have to go first? <laughs> well, when we get up to the bridge, you'll be able to take a look and make a decision. across the sketchy bridge I just decided to not even look so but we made it and now we're headed down along the side of the river here look at all those big rocks down there and there's supposed to be a hot spring somewhere at the end of this road Vanna is patiently waiting <laughs> So we passed a little old man on a horse and we stopped and we talked to him a little bit. And in his Spanish and Kurt starting to understand more and more Spanish, we believe he told us that the other way was the way to the more natural hot springs. And this one was a little bit more commercial or fancy and more like developed pools. He clearly liked the other one better and thought we should go there. But Kurt and Danny have looked at that road and I don't think we could get up it. No way. And I couldn't walk up it. So the nice little man had offered to take me up on the horse, but actually riding a horse is even worse on my knee. So we're gonna go down here and scope out the one that he said was more commercialized or more fancy. And uh, let's see what we find down here. All right, another bridge. The Kurt's gonna walk and scope it out before we decide if we're crossing it or not. made it across. Now, here come the Vandersons. And look who's at the wheel. Emily! Woo! <laughs> okay. Alright, guys. Let's go. Alright. We've made it across the two bridges. Now it's a little bit of a muddy section here. Kurt's going to walk up and check that out. Sometimes the destination is more about the journey to get there. I don't know what this hot springs is going to be like, but the ride out here has been interesting. All right, we're about to get the verdict again. I feel like this is becoming routine on this journey. Let's see what he says. All right, we checked it out. It's wet and it's slippery, but it's. I think that we have four wheel drive. I'm not worried about us, but worried a little bit about the Vandersons. All right, so we made it through the muddy stretch. Let's see what's around the next curve. Woo! Four wheeling. <laughs> told y'all and Kurt told y'all after that last muddy road check sometimes it's not about the destination it's all about the journey today at least so far I don't even think it matters what this place is like when we get here now no it doesn't it's been a fun adventure getting yeah. here yeah yeah mission accomplished look at this but bonus if the hot springs is awesome yeah for sure When we were younger, we used to sit on the grass and go, damn, I don't want to grow old. So 
stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It wasn't possible to make us embarrassed. We were free. Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control. When they found out we ran from home just to scare them, we were. Eight five, Martes to Domingo. Tuesday to Saturday. Or Sunday, Tuesday to Sunday. Well, guys, we're in luck because it's Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, we are. Nice looking hot spring. You can probably see it right over there. Yep. It's five dollars. If we decide to camp, it's twelve dollars. He said they have a hike up here somewhere with the mirror door, and obviously we have the river. So we're gonna park right here. We're gonna camp here tonight. I don't know, but we're gonna get in the hot springs and take okay. it, take it uh, day by day. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, we are parked, settled in, still undetermined on whether we will camp here tonight or not. Kurt's getting a little snack in the van, and I'm heading on down. I'm gonna check out these hot springs that were such an adventure to get to. It looks like Sombrita is coming with me. Everything is wet and slippery, but this place looks pretty nice, huh, guys? What are you doing, Kurt? <laughs> well, right now, I have one foot on that side of the pool and one foot on this side of the pool. Why? So I'm doing a little stretching. All right. <laughs> it's the Kurt challenge. Belly flop! Oh, salsa! <laughs> All right, guys, we have had fun here at this little hot springs, but it was a short stop off. It's time to start getting out. Getting some breed to dry it off, <laughs> getting back in the vans and headed somewhere else. All right, guys, what a fun time. But to be honest with you, it was a bit of a muddy mess. We had to lock in the four wheels to park. Danny and Emily kind of parked outside. But also we came down some muddy, muddy slippery spots. Now we're not so worried about them because we have four wheel drive. Danny and Emily do not. They have a front wheel drive. And so they're a little worried about it. So we'll have to see how this little adventure gets out of here. And don't forget, we have those two bridge crossings. Yeah. And look who's carrying them across them this time. Me. <laughs> so up here somewhere, they're going to pull over so we can go first, just in case we have to give them a little boost by pulling them a little up that one steep hill. I think they'll be okay, but we'll know when we get there. Once we get up that hill, y'all wait for a minute because Kurt's going to get out and film y'all coming up it. All right, here he goes. Danny's driving this time. Sounds like he's got it in low gear. He's giving it hell. Tires spun a little bit. No problem for the Dodge Promaster. Yeah, what would it feel like? Yeah, it's ain't nothing for a pro master carry. You had a little front left wheel spin, that's it. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Just a little, not much. Why? Well, I, nice I uh, accept your notes. <laughs>
All right, we made it over two sketch bridges down a bouncy road, muddy road. We made it out of there to the hot springs, but the day is not over, guys. We have another place we're gonna go. Now, it's still about an hour drive from our campsite, but this is a little cascada I've been wanting to see. So we're gonna go scout that out, and uh, yeah, we'll keep you posted. So, snow's on another little windy road. This is definitely a secondary road, not the primary road through the mountains, but it's a little cut through past uh, Boca de... But it's definitely a little cut through. Danny's pointing out some volcanoes on the horizon. So, our intent was to go to this cascada, this waterfall up here. And we just rode by there. We didn't, there was nothing on iOverlander. It was just a spot on Google Maps, but it was closed. So we're gonna press on to the next spot, which hopefully is our camp spot for the night. We're zigzagging along over this river. And this is just like a secondary road. And there's all these one lane bridges and across here. This one's like a steel girder bridge, but it's got wood planks. So I think Snow smartly asked me to get out and walk it and take a check. Here, I don't know if you can see this, but right here, it's just like rotted all the way through the bridge. Uh, but I would say overall, it looks strong enough. I think we can make it. They've doubled up on the tire tread, so we just gotta stay up on those. There are some weak spots, but I think we're good. So that bridge was a bit sketch, huh Snow? Uh, yeah, and uh, I mean, you walked it, so you felt good about it, but uh, when we're going across it, you could definitely feel it moving, and it's not designed to move like those others are. Yeah. So, yeah, I had to speed up a little bit there towards the end. <laughs> uh, this has definitely been a stressful drive. There's a lot of potholes. It's a curvy road. There's tons of low trees, which is always a concern with our top and our awning and lights and all that type of stuff. So I was doing a great job, but here we go, down a steep, steep grade, and then I'm sure we'll be back up another. Potholes. But <laughs> hopefully our camp spot is open and good. Otherwise, it's gonna be a long day. <laughs> and we are on it, and this thing is steep. Snow so shifting it down into low gear. Yeah. That's how pretty though. Yeah. Go ahead, tell them why you got excited, Snow stripes on the road Look. and it's paved i don't know how good it's going to stay and for how long with their stripes this is a road improvement i don't know who's happier me, me and snow or g money yeah maybe g <laughs> okay guys we just made it through the cut through road and we are back on the highway and it has definitely proven to be a smoother road a better road not so many low hanging trees Snow's excited about that, and I am too. But we're in the national, I guess it's a national forest park, forest preserve, uh, Fortuna. And so we're about 15 minutes from our destination. It's so cool. We're coming through, through probably some of the steepest mountain ridge in Panama. And every once in a while, as we look off, we just get a glimpse of, glimpse of the Pacific coast. Now, once we get over this mountain ridge, then we'll be able to see the Caribbean coast. Uh, but still, super cool to see these, uh, these vistas. All right, we're coming through a little police checkpoint. Let's see what happens. Hola, Hola. Um, en los papeles de la entrada del vehículo, por favor, se lo Sí, no problema. So they're asking for our tip, our temporary import information. Gracias. Buen día. Gracias. So, looked at our paperwork and waved the sign. Wished us a great day. So, very routine, normal. Another gorgeous drive we're on here, but as we wind through this highway in the Fortuna Reserve, Forest Reserve area, 
we're getting up into the clouds it's starting to sprinkle a little bit still windy roads turning into places where they're gravel roads because of the rock slides and erosion and things like that so snow drew the challenging part of the drive today surprise surprise short straw it's almost over we're really almost there guys that we should have some nice uh, scenery coming up here although this whole entire drive has been beautiful look at that oh there's the lake yeah oh that's the lake so we're crossing the dam for this huge reservoir here and our spot was back there at the visitor center to this lake and dam but it didn't look really that good so we're gonna go on to another spot we're gonna press on uh, there are a couple more spots in route so fingers crossed it's up in front of us the Vandersons have now taken a lead to help sniff out the next spot you can see Sambrita's Sambrita's nose is <laughs> hanging out the window she's gonna help us sniff out a camp spot for the night but we've now encountered the fog of the clouds and so in places our visibility is almost going away Right up here, I think, is one of them. But snow is left with but one more driving obstacle. I mean, this day has been full. Everything. Everything that can be encountered while driving. Yeah. Guess who's not driving tomorrow, guys? <laughs> Kurt! <laughs> Start off as a relaxing hot spring day. Turned into a... Adventure well, drive. Well, I guess really the adventure drive started it off. Relaxing, adventure drive, followed relaxing. by the followed by the rain. We're hunkered down on the top of a mountain. It's windy and rainy. Yeah. But this is where we're going to stop until we head on to our next destination. Yep. And the next place is really awesome. So we'll head that way in the morning. Cheers, guys. Cheers. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers guys!